Hello there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's card making video, we're talking about four bar cards. What is a four bar card? Well, that's what I'm gonna show you today. I am going to be playing with some new Trinity Stamps products along the way as well. A four bar card is a piece of paper that is five by seven scored at three and a half. It's also known as an RSVP card. And Trinity Stamps has some products specific to this size of card, like this four bar card and envelope builder die set and the four bar card die set. So these both have frames you can use to create layers for the front of your four bar card. And one obviously creates an envelope. Plus they have fun little things like tags and tickets and words. Speaking of four bar, there are two specifically new stamp sets that work well on this size of card, both created by Love Danny Stu. Studios. One is Hugs and Kisses, the other is Sensational, which is the first stamp I am using to create my card today, stamping it down onto a panel that I die cut that has the stitched edge from the four bar card die set. I'm gonna have all of these things linked for you below so you can check them out. This stamp set has the sentiment built into the image, which is like my favorite thing about the Love Danny Studio images. I am coloring this up with my YG16 marker just on the bottom because I am going to blend that out and give these letters an ombre look. So now I have my Y04 that I'm adding, softening that out, and then YR15, working my way towards kind of a golden yellow color. So four different markers are gonna finish out the color coloring on these letters with that really warm sunset-like feel. You really want to be careful when you're coloring these little letters. Use a light hand and maybe like a really good tip on your marker. All right, for the clouds, I have BG32. It's kind of a light teal color, which happens to be like my favorite color. Love it. I'm softening that out with BG11 and then leaving the center of the cloud nice and bright white. I'll do that on all of the clouds. For the sun, I use those YR markers in 12 and 15, but brought in Y17 to give it a little bit more yellow to finish it off. And I love how it turned out. These colors together, the warm and the cool colors are just gorgeous. Now I am adding white highlights to all the things using my eight sized jelly roll pen. And this is just going to help brighten it up and give it a little bit extra dimension. Now for the outside of this image, I am giving it a little bit of a shadow with my N1 marker as my darkest, just going around the outer edge in kind of a circular motion, which is how I like to color with my Copics. And then I will soften that out with my N0 marker. It just really helps that image like pop off the card and I love this sentiment. I don't I don't know why, but it kind of looks like a vintage postcard with those block letters that say sun. I think it's just fun. It's a fun image. So that'll finish up the coloring and you can see how that looks close up right here. Now we're going to layer this up on a panel that I die cut using the largest die from the envelope set and that's the exact size of the card front of a four bar card. So three and a half by five and a half. I'm splattering that with some metallic watercolor from Altenew. This color um, matches my background perfectly. And then I use the white for the sensational panel. Look at all that shimmer. Oh, love it. All right, we'll set that aside to dry. And once it's dry, I am adding on a piece of ribbon, this little scrap of ribbon. It's kind of a hound's tooth pattern. I'm going to wrap it around the center of this panel. This panel happens to be a tiny, like if you're going to mount something with layers, you want it to have the same exact amount of space around all four sides. But this panel has a little bit more on the sides versus the top and the bottom. So adding this ribbon is going to kind of give you a little something extra to look at on the sides. And then I'm going to pop up my card front panel on top of that with some foam squares. Yes, a lot of foam squares. That's how I roll. I, I know it's obscene. It's a lot. <laughs> Next, we're adding on some gems. These are the Amber Glow Rhinestones. I love the embellishments at Trinity Stamps, you guys. They have so many 
embellishments. And when you find an embellishment that you love, chances are they have it in like every single color. So that just makes me happy. I have a rainbow of these gems because they're one of my favorite embellishments to use. And I put six on the front of this card, three in the top right, three in, no, that's the top left. I do know my right from my left, but not all the time. All right. So for more shimmer and shine and glitter, I have my diamond stickles. I'm going to add this to all four of the hearts on the front of this card, and it makes such a difference adding in these little details on my cards. Just that extra little bit of love in the card, right? Love is in the details. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, Let's set that aside to dry and work on card number two with the Hugs and Kisses stamp set. Such a fun image and you can just color this right up, but I'm gonna do some paper piecing and I will show you how. This is the Love Danny Studio paper collection. I'm so excited that she has paper because I just love her designs so much. And these are classic designs with the stripes you could use on anything. There's hearts on the other side, rainbow patterns. It's a gorgeous paper pad. So if you noticed, this envelope set has hugs and kisses in it. And guess what? Those letters fit perfectly on the stamped letters. Isn't that genius? I love it. So you can use this stamp without the die set and you can use the die set without the stamp set, but you can have both and have so many options. I love it. So I die cut the word kisses from some red cardstock. I die cut the hearts from some white glitter paper from um, Arteza. It's like my new favorite glitter paper. I have a video that I did earlier this week showing you the black and the white and all different ways to use it. And now I am adding a little bit of shadow to the edges of these letters. So when they layer on top of each other, you they're going to kind of stand out a little bit better. Speaking of layering, I am going to layer my red die cut word kisses over the top of this word right here. Now you could stick it straight down and you would never see the stamped part, but I decided to have this be like a drop shadow. So I colored it with my N10 marker. It was a little bit stressful coloring the whole thing black. Like I don't know why that's more stressful than any other Copic coloring, but I was really paranoid about staying in the lines. <laughs> All right, I'm now gluing down the letter letters to spell out hugs. I love this paper. It really reminds me of some pajamas that my daughters used to have. Like part of it had stripes and part of it had hearts. So both sides of this paper really just look like the pajamas from when my kids are little. And they had the pajamas that match their um, American Girl doll precious times. My kids are 13 and 16 now. The preciousness is very slightly visible still. I mean, mom has to cling on to it. You know what happens when teenagers invade your home. Yeah. But I hang on to those precious memories. <laughs> All right, so now everything is mounted on there and I'm softening out and adding actually a little bit more shadow to these letters with my N2 marker. I had a few places where I kind of messed up. Can you believe that? Yeah, so I softened it out with that other marker. Now I'm die cutting a card front panel to mount this on with those hearts. And it is just cute with the little hearts peeking out from behind. So I'm gonna glue that down to my four bar card. Remember, it's a five by seven scored at three and a half, creating a three and a half by five card. Then I'll pop this up with, again, an obscene amount of foam squares because we're gonna make sure that does not ever pop off there. All right, for embellishment, I have the black licorice jelly hearts. Do you see what I mean? If you find an embellishment that you love from Trinity, chances are you can get it in every color in the rainbow, plus white, plus clear. It makes me happy. These are the things that make me happy. Yeah, so I put the tiniest little heart in each of the four corners on this card just to make it look like it's kind of tacked down, and I love how that looks. So now we just need to embellish the word kisses, don't you think? And the word hugs, just a little bit more embellishment. Yeah, we're gonna do that next. So for the word hugs, I am bringing in some glaze. I had to put on my reader glasses so I could make sure I got every nook and cranny of these letters covered with glaze. And they look so good, I'm not gonna lie, covered in this glaze. And it's just gonna take a while to dry, but it's so worth it. So let me show you this up close so you can see what I mean. 
Look at that, like it's epoxied. It's so, so cool. And then we have the glitter of the hearts. So we might as well put some shine onto the word kisses. I brought back my metallic watercolors and I'm painting over the top of the red paper with some red metallic paint. And it's fabulous. Look at all the shine on this simple, cute card. It's like I said, it's all about those details. All right, now let's make some envelopes for these cards. That I have this same die set I brought back in. To die cut the envelopes, you're going to need to die cut one of this largest piece. And then there's a side panel. You're gonna need two of these to create an envelope. You can probably already see how this is gonna go together, but we're gonna use one of each of those side flaps on the sides of this largest piece. I like to pre-fold my crease lines before I get started on the envelope itself and that just helps me have that ready to go. So those four are folded and now I'm gonna cut a window from the front of this envelope using the smallest of those layering rectangles. And you could do this when you've cut it out the first time, you know, in one pass, you could do that. Um, but I kind of wanted you to see what it looked like before. Now I flipped it over and I'm adding glue around the frame so I can glue down a piece of window paneling, window sheet, and that is gonna keep the card nice and sturdy and protect, or keep the envelope sturdy and protect my card. Now this little piece of scotch tape is so I don't accidentally catch my card on the window sheet when I go to put it in the envelope. I've got some double stick tape here on the sides on the little flap that the die created for me and liquid glue. So I can move that around if I don't get it perfectly placed onto the envelope the first time. So what I like to do is have the flap face up on my desk and then bring the envelope down onto that lining up the edge of the envelope with that scored line. Now here I have fourth of an inch score tape or double stick tape, but it's a little bit too wide. So on my second envelope, you'll see I only use glue right here because I had a little bit of a sticky mess I had to clean off and you can see it there a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, not cute, but I eventually did get it all off. So fold up the bottom flap and adhere that in place to finish off the envelope. And here you can see what this looks like with my card in there. Oh my gosh, so cute. I love that it decorates the envelope and peeks into the inside. All right, for the red envelope for card number two, I'm using that four bar card die set and die cutting the uh, front of this with this scalloped rectangle, but it's a little bit deceiving. The part that's scalloped is actually going to be a separate piece. So what I did is die cut this a second time using some black glitter cardstock. So I can do an inlay. So once that's die cut, I'm actually also left with the center of this and the frame from the red. So you could put those two together and create a whole nother four bar card with that. All right, so let's put the window sheet onto the back of this envelope and then we can inlay that black glittered frame. This is also that black glitter paper from Arteza that is just great paper. It really is super shiny, very sturdy. The glitter doesn't rub off. It comes in a huge pack. So I love that paper. All right, again, you're just taking the main panel and lining up the edge of that with that scored line on the side panel. And once you have those two in place, you'll flip it over, use the liquid glue on the edges <laughs> instead of double stick tape, unless you have eighth of an inch double stick tape, you could use that. And then the bottom panel gets folded up just like that to complete the envelope. Quick and easy, only takes one sheet of cardstock and actually you'll have a little bit left over you can use for die cutting other things as well. So once that's dry, I'll show you in the pictures what it looks like inside the envelope. But I think this is a really fun and simple yet special Valentine card because of those little extras that I added to it. And that is it in the envelope. Look how cute that looks. And here's the first card you can see with its envelope. And I just had fun with these images. Creating smaller cards means you have less space to fill up. So you can do a lot of those little extra touches, right? I hope you've enjoyed this video and maybe you'll try making a four bar card. Just take a five by seven piece of paper, score it at three and a half inches and you're ready to go. 
All right, thank you so much for stopping by. If you're interested in the products, you can find them linked below. And I have new videos all the time. So if you're new here, feel free to subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Happy stamping, bye.